Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, February 3rd, 2020. Got a free pick in basketball coming up in just a moment. Hey, listen, if you're new to these videos or you've been watching them and just want to give DocSports.com a trial run, it's a real cool way to do it. You click on the link below this video in that description box. You get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. It's as simple as that. Uh, get started by clicking on the link below the video. Video, free $60 account. Football season is behind us. I want to give you a sincere thanks to those who are with us all season long once again. I think it's like my, I don't know, 25th season in the business, 26th season in the business uh, in college football in the NFL, being a better and a handicapper. And uh, we ended up 59% over the final 15, excuse me, final 14 weeks of the football season. So happy about that. And I uh, want to say a special thanks to those of you who stuck with us in the early going this season when it wasn't going all that well the first few weeks and then we kicked it into gear and again at that 59% run the final 14 weeks and to cash that OV contest that I told you about the other day showed you the trophy hitting 60% in the NFL 85 plays over the football season so real happy about that can't wait to get started man can't wait for next August but until then for the next couple of months till we get to baseball it's a whole lot of basketball I'm gonna have a free play here for you sometimes multiple free plays when the card has enough plays on it in college basketball and the NBA right through March Madness right through the NBA playoffs and hey don't forget NASCAR uh, starts in a couple of weeks and you know how well we did a NASCAR and as I told you before you don't have to like the sport if you like making money we cleaned up last year we went all we went all in basically with matchups got away from picking who's going to win the race which is something we started doing over 20 years ago and uh, went 100% to matchups and just had a tremendous run and we'll tell you all the stats and the numbers as we get closer uh, to the Daytona 500 in a couple of weeks but uh, we got that to look forward to of course college basketball stretch run as we get ready for March and NBA of course the uh, rest of the second half of the season and the playoffs but we've got a free NBA play for you here gonna get to that in just a second here's what's going on for me on Monday uh, the card to me is ugly in college basketball I went over it twice I don't like a single play a, a lot of extra games that are going on Monday and the games that are regular board games we just don't like so got to take a pass just got to do that sometimes. Uh, we did cash on Sunday with the Iowa Hawkeyes. That was our lone college basketball play on Sunday. As far as the NHL is concerned, three games. We won on Sunday, but I'm not going to play it on Monday. Three games. I don't like any of the three games, and I do like kind of like two of the favorites, the late, the last two games on the schedule, but I'm not going to recommend laying those prices on Monday. So let's pass the NHL. Let's pass college basketball on Monday. Let's focus on the NBA. Uh, we're on a 75% run, 6-2 and two with our last eight we've been releasing one nba play per day we've gone six and two the last eight uh, going back even further though 69 percent run in the nba i've actually got two plays a rare day when i have two plays on monday in the nba both available in the same package at docsports.com and they'll be available anytime after 1 p.m eastern 10 a.m pacific time so go check that out let's sweep let's stay hot in the nba all right let's get to our free pick here we're going to look at the matchup between the timberwolves and the kings up in sacramento on monday night kind of pinned this one down and earmarked it as a possible play uh, after what happened when Sacramento went to Minnesota not too long ago and Minnesota had a third quarter lead of 27 points and believe it or not with less than three minutes to go in the game in the fourth quarter Minnesota held a 17 point lead you started seeing starters coming out of the lineup bench players coming in they blew the lead they lost to Sacramento in overtime and I know there's going to be a little bit of extra motivation going into this one now we ear marked it which means we still had to like the way things were going to go for this particular game even though there's that little bit of extra motivation I like the way Carl uh, Anthony Towns has been playing as of late he's got to get others on Minnesota to start to pick up their game also I think he will for this one listen they almost didn't should have won that last meeting uh, Minnesota did win in Sacramento in December they're on a nine and four spread run in Sacramento and I like him to get the victory here so listen and I like what the Kings have done as far as uh, bringing healed off the bench He's been better. The team's been better since they've done that. Uh, but in this particular match, I think the T-Wolves get the better of them. Snap out of that funk at least for one night. So Minnesota plus the points. It's a short number, but plus the points on the road over Sacramento on Monday. Hey, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column right back here Tuesday. Might have two videos, two free picks for Tuesday. That'll be at 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.